Thank you again for visiting my website and today I'd like to address a very, very important subject and that is the National Health Service. And can I begin by thanking all of you who have sent me letters and emails um, regarding the, uh, the National Health Service and your concerns. And like you, I, I want to uh, assure you that I care deeply about the National Health Service and I will not support any government action that I think would harm the underlying principle that NHS services should be free at the point of use and available to everybody who needs them. Now I don't believe that the current proposals actually undermine that principle. However, I do have a number of concerns about the changes, particularly with respect to the transition period between the abolition of the Eastern and Cape Coastal Primary Care Trust and the time at which our local GPs are in a position to commission services effectively on behalf of their patients. And I've raised this issue with the senior NHS managers and they have given me an assurance that the situation will be monitored carefully to ensure that no patient in my constituency is disadvantaged. Now despite my concerns, I do support the main thrust of the proposals and unfortunately there are a number of myths uh, about the government's plans that I would like to take the opportunity now to reassure you about. Um, one of those myths um, is that the government will allow the private sector to undercut NHS hospitals, forcing them to close. That is simply not true. There will be no opportunity for the private sector to undercut the National Health Service because anyone delivering services to the National Health Service, either private sector or the NHS itself, will pay the same NHS price. In addition, the government will outlaw the rigged market in favour of the private sector which the previous government introduced. That said, the government does want patients to have the freedom to go to the best performing hospitals. This means that good hospitals will thrive and poor hospitals will have to improve their performance. Hospitals will continue to change as they've always done and these plans will put patients right at the heart of the NHS and give doctors and nurses at the front line the freedom and power to do what they do best which is caring for patients. It will take the unnecessary management and political interference out of the NHS, saving five billion over this parliament alone. Now, having said all that, I fully understand, I fully understand and respect your concerns about the new proposals. And I promise that I will pass those concerns on to David Cameron and Nick Clegg, who as you know, have decided to postpone progress of the bill through Parliament for a couple of months in order to allow more time for consultation with national health professionals. I think that is the right thing to do and I support um, what they're trying to achieve which is to take a second look at the proposals and ensure that when they are finally introduced that they will work will have the full support of the National Health Service and more importantly would have the full service, uh, the full support of you, the people who have to use that service. Thank you very much.